Hello, and welcome to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. My name is Tony, and today we will go through the process of updating our firmware on our R10 Model 2 GNSS receiver using Trimble Installation Manager. So what you'll need, uh, obviously your R10 Model 2, a uh, good charged battery. Uh, I did use my TSC7 uh, in this process. Uh, you can use a T10, uh, T7, uh, or your PC, uh, as long as you have a a triple installation manager uh, already downloaded and the uh, USB to Limo cable uh, which is supplied in your case of the R10 Model 2. And lastly, I uh, just want to make sure that your R10 uh, Model 2 is on uh, current maintenance. So to start here, I will just open up Trimble Installation Manager. Uh, I've made a shortcut on my main screen here. And on the left, you can see I have a couple different options, uh, controller, receiver, and then optical and scanning. I usually start with my controllers just to make sure that the uh, office updates are, are current down there. Let this run. And then, yep, you can see my office updates uh, are, are current. Uh, it has a little green dot indicating that. Uh, if you're updating access uh, on your TSC7 or other controller, an easy way to do that here is just to uh, go to that pull down there and, and select what uh, version you'd like. Uh, you can see you know, there's a bunch of different uh, languages if you, if you need that at all. Uh, so just some options there for, for any updates. And by clicking on the left too, you can get your uh, optical and scanning button selected and you can get your firmware uh, for your Trimble SX10 if you have it. Uh, pull down on the top right, you can select which uh, firmware version you want. And the same goes for the uh, X7 uh, if you have one of those. Uh, same thing. Uh, Pull down on the top right, uh, you select your firmware version, and then just hit install uh, at the bottom. Uh, when those are cabled up, it's uh, really easy to do the firmware updates uh, with that. So I'll click on uh, receiver here. Uh, and if you're familiar with doing the, the web UI uh, updates with your R10, uh, this is an easy place to get your firmware files or the .timg files uh, with the R10, R12, R10.2. Um, I would probably use this most for the R10 uh, for using the, the web UI update and just downloading those TIMG files. Uh, just from the pull down here, I'll click on my R10, select my, you know, say 545. I can hit download on this and I will get that uh, TIMG file uh, to, to use with my web UI uh, for doing the firmware updates that way. Also, then, uh, by scrolling on the left, too, you can uh, see there's a pretty wide variety of different receivers uh, that you can uh, download uh, your firmware for as well through Installation Manager. So on the left, I'll just click on my receiver again, and on the bottom right, I'll click on Connect. And then uh, a screen should pop up uh, just asking you know, which uh, COM port you want to use uh, for this example here. At the bottom, COM17 Trimble USB is going to be the uh, selection I'm going to want. So we'll just take a second and let this get connected up here. And once connected, uh, you can see kind of the, the blue check marks uh, with the blue text. That's all the uh, updates uh, that will be uh, going on, uh, the, the installation of the firmware, and uh, some radio frequencies that I had uh, entered in uh, prior to. Um, this is a brand new receiver, so uh, got all, all that set up before. Uh, if we hit device information on the top tab there, uh, it does tell you, you know, what firmware version you have uh, and your maintenance expiration date. Uh, this is all default stuff from the, from the factory, so you guys might see something a little bit different, uh, but it does give you some of that info. Uh, so I'll, I'll just click back on uh, install updates. Again, I just want to make sure I'm using the, the latest and greatest, uh, which right now is the 6.05, which does include that you know, ProPoint uh, GNSS technology. And then uh, this warning uh, just shows that, hey, if you have any uh, you know, static data, you know, any TO2 files or anything uh, on, your, on your receiver, uh, just make sure you get that off before you do this uh, firmware update, as uh, the firmware update will uh, basically erase everything that you have on there. So just make sure that your, your static files are, are deleted or copied and saved uh, somewhere uh, safe. Uh, so just click OK there, and I'll uh, speed this video up here a little bit. Uh, it takes you know, maybe 15 minutes or so. Uh, to complete. Uh, so now that it's done, uh, you can see we have the you know, white check mark inside the little green circle there, uh, just showing that it was complete. Uh, you can kind of scroll down and just make sure everything you know downloaded fine. Uh, I do have my uh, radio frequencies in there now, uh, so everything looks to be looks to be good. If I click on device information, I can see that my uh, uh, warranty expiration date uh, did update, uh, and my firmware version is now at that 5.45.6.5. Looks like all of my uh, radio frequencies uh, came along. So it looks like everything uh, 
went good and downloaded uh, just fine. Uh, so I'll just click on uh, back in my install updates then. And when I'm done here, I can just click finish at the bottom. Uh, do I want to exit? Uh, just hit yes. This concludes our Frontier Precision Tech Talk for today. Please stay safe out there, and we hope to see you next time. Thanks.